Okay, so today guys, we will check out the Zaitsev's Eruption, a brand new super rare legendary assault rifle to BL3. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and today I bring you another Borderlands video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. Okay, so this weapon, where to start? Firstly, many thought this thing was a myth because it's that rare. Seriously. My version, the key meat cake time Zaitsev's eruption offers corrosive damage at a 12% chance. With a damage of 465, accuracy of 67%, handling at 59%, repair time at 4.3 seconds, fire rate at 8.92 and 72 shots to break. 10% critical hit damage, a 1.8 times zoom, and this thing is highly effective versus armor. The anointment on this is, while enemies are below 25% health, gain 50% increased weapon damage. So not a bad anointment at all. Now this weapon is probably the rarest weapon in the game right now. Definitely one of the hardest to get in terms of drop rate. And that's because it drops from an enemy called the Raging Titan, who indeed spawns within the last round of the slaughter shaft, round 5, not sure what wave though. This you have to do on Mayhem 4, and it seems a pretty rare weapon to drop indeed. Now obviously, if he doesn't drop it for you once you get him to spawn, make sure you just fail the wave and start at round 5 again. This isn't super efficient, but it's the best you will get. This also, I believe, is within the loot pools of Walton and the Valkyrie squad, so I've been told, but not confirmed as of yet. But these guys' loot pools are pretty stacked, so I definitely feel it's better to farm the Raging Titan within Slaughter Shaft. And yes, by the way, you can kill him straight away, he doesn't have to, so to speak, level up. I mean, if you do let him level up, maybe it increases the chance, but that I cannot confirm. So this weapon, after playing about with it for a few hours, it's pretty decent, I wouldn't say overly powerful, I mean for sure builds can make a difference, but as a standard weapon with a standard build, it definitely isn't the most powerful assault rifle I've used. So this Children of the Vault Alien Tech Assault Rifle, with its beautiful pearlescent glow, it can pack a punch with its hidden trick which I've found. When this thing reloads or overheats, it fires tracking projectiles, as far as I could tell, 8 projectiles. These it also seems randomly seek any target within radius, not always the one you are targeting yourself. It also seems each of these projectiles deal at least double the damage a normal shot does, whether that to the body or the crit spot. Now personally, I do think it's a great weapon, but I feel this variant isn't the best out there. I feel a cryo version would be much better here, as I'm certain those extra projectiles for sure would freeze targets while you reload or cool this weapon down, which would be a great addition. The corrosive version I've got though does deal great damage over time, with the usual tick of damage really having an impact on your enemy. But all in all guys, in my opinion there are definitely better assault rifles in the game, which to me make more sense using. This although does pack a okay punch for sure, the event you have will have a massive impact on the weapon. But for me what I got from this for using it for a few hours, on multiple mayhem modes I will add, I just felt it lacked something which many other assault rifles offer. I'd never use this over my Dictator, I'd never use this over my Sploder, and to be honest even a low damage uh, Lucian's Cool I'd take over this every day of the week, as although it does have a lower damage, in reality damage over time that DPS will be way way more. Now I know there is a 2x variant of this which to me would make a real difference to this gun. The issue with the one times variant is you don't see enough of those extra projectiles, but a two times variant which would consume two ammo per shot would indeed mean those projectiles come into play way more often. Plus you gain what would basically be double the damage because of that two times. So a two times with cryo damage would be the variant I'd chase for here. But all in all guys, even though it's a very unique weapon, a super rare weapon, in my opinion it isn't a must get weapon. There are much better assault rifles in the game which you could be seeking out. But hey guys, that's just my thoughts on this weapon after using it for a few hours. 
Now credit to my pal trolling donkey for sending me this weapon for a review, so massive shout out to him. But yeah guys, this has been a review of the Zeitsev's Eruption. No, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. I mean Zeitsev's, I mean that could be pronounced a hundred different ways, but Zeitsev's Eruption is how I'm saying it. So this has been a review of the Zeitsev's Eruption Assault Rifle. A weapon that drops from the Raging Titan within the Salota Shaft, who spawns in at a round 5, I'm not sure exactly what wave that is. And also is said to be within the loot pools of the Valkyrie Squad and Walton within the takedown at Malawan Black Sight Raid. Now good luck to you guys if you decide to chase this thing, because you will need it, as it does seem as though this is one of the rarest weapons in the game at the moment. But all in all, a decent weapon, variants I believe will have massive impacts on this thing and for sure let me know if you do have a different variant of this, let me know what you think about it. Have you got it two times after in cryo? For sure let me know. Do you play on Xbox? You can always send me the weapon for review and I'll post another review of the weapon. My gamer tag is I am DPJ, or you can hit me up on my Discord, link to it in the video description and let me know there. But on that note, we have come to the end. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.